Hi guys, welcome to my hunter run of this week's uh, Prestige Nightfall. I'm going to be doing it on Arc Strider. Uh, I've got Better Devils, an Arc Mananan, and an Arc Curtain Call, all masterworked. I'm using the Raiden Flux Exotic chest plate for the Hunter. Obviously, really good for Arc Strider. And for this, I'll mention at the start, I've put a mod on one of my one of my pieces of armor that gives me increased reload with heavy weapons, just because I have one dodge reload. And getting those getting those rockets off is imperative in the boss room. I'm running with Arc Singe, Heavyweight, Momentum, and Extinguish. So the start of this is the same as most. Uh, this run is different from the Warlock and Titan runs. I wish I could redo the Titan run because uh, that t time 17, I could have knocked about at least at least four minutes off that run. Uh, but anyway, this run, anybody's familiar with the runs, we're going to put a rocket on, but because it's Arc Singe, it's an Arc Rocket, it almost takes him, and now the Manan will finish him. So now I'm going to go down here, clear out these ads with a with an Arc Bolt, and it's really, the Arc Bolt was awesome. I mean, it's basically took that bunch of ads. Now if I go up and kill the, the two, the, 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 the one or two Cabal that's up here, that opens the door. I think it's. I think there are still the two cabal. Yep. So take them out. That's it. Doors open and on you go. So <clears throat> the setup for this is: by the time you get to the first, the, the area at the end of the infinite forest where all the cabal and sounds come out, you want to make sure you've got your super there, because we're just going to attack those ads straight away. And for the whole run, you just want to make sure you get to the boss with all your rockets. Uh, you're going to need a grenade dodge dodge reload and and your super now the super is precautionary i do not use it till we get to the final room but it's precautionary so while i'm running through here i'm going to address two questions that i've been asked one why do i put extinguish on when i'm doing a farming run if i'm get, showing you guys a guide i need to prove or at least demonstrate that the guide is solid so let's just say for the purposes of this 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 point that I am the teacher. If I need the training wheels on, then, you know, the strategy can't be that sound. So I'm doing it with Extinguish because I'm supposed to be able to do this. So if I can do this with Extinguish on, you guys can definitely do it without Extinguish on. So it wouldn't be much of a guide if I needed to put training wheels on my run. So that's kind of why. And plus... Maybe maybe it's a bit of old fashionedness that a prestige is supposed to be if you die, you're out. And that's kinda why I do it. And the, the actually there's a few questions, but the second question I got asked is why do I always use an Arc Mananan? Well, it's because I uh, most of the ads that, that I will deal with in the boss room are arc. I can fight every other ad from range, so damage isn't really a problem. And if you do get the Vex version, you're, you're dealing with Arc copies all the time. So it doesn't matter what burn it is. I want an Arc weapon for the shields. You know, so that's why. Best damage types, another question. What's the best damage type for each character? Warlock, it's, it's easier to say the Stormcall is the worst. You can Dawnblade and Voidwalker are very good. Uh, but the Rift makes all the, the subclasses really good for the... the the warlock titan it is i i done mine on 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 uh fist of havoc i wish i could go back and do it on on uh hammers i wish i could go back and do it with no modifier on as well it would be a lot more of an efficient run well before before i finish that this is what you do to get up there you jump on this platform here and up through this little gap in the wall it's very easy to get up there then you can pop your arc strider just keep taking out all the ads just keep going from side to side and take out all the ads. You don't have to take all the scions, although I've heard people say that. You don't. I don't take all the scions, and the door opens once I take these last couple of ads back. At the, yep. Once I take these last two ads, then that that's it. So this next section, we're just going to do the, the usual. We're going to jump from the same place as we did with the warlock. You have to stretch your jump out though. So jump, let your character go up and then start to come back down before you jump again. Imagine you're just bouncing on an invisible trampoline. That's kind of what it is. Like a triple jump. 
an actual triple jump, not the hunter's triple jump, an Olympic triple jump, you know, come down before you boost again. And then we'll kill the two scions and then we'll spiral all the way through to the last section. And in the last section, uh, we're, we're going to be fighting the ads there. Take the top, take the top, uh, take the top uh, route th through the spiral section because there's no ads. So just to finish off about the damages. So, yep, Stormcall is the worst, I think, for, for the Warlocks. It, it's not the best, whereas Voidwalker and Dawnblade are. Hammers for the Titan, it can be done with all subclasses, but hammers for just for melting point. But I only suggest that if you're using a shotgun. If you're not using a shotgun, hammers doesn't really matter. You know, you can do it on arc if you're not using a shotgun very easily. And Hunter, I would go with Arc Strider, although I don't think Golden Gun is very good for this, personally. Uh, I would go Arc Strider or a Night Stalker. Night Stalker will help you get there, it just won't do a lot on the boss. So as you'll see from this run, you can make your own mind up. I think Arc Strider is the best for the Hunter. So that's that's the damage types, the sub, the classes and the damage types I would recommend. Void Walker uh, is the easiest easiest to get to the boss, I think. But then with all the lasers, it can be really difficult, the boss. Vo that's Void. Arc, you've got all the Cabal do Arc. Solar's the easiest subclass to get to the boss because it's just the snipers and the incenders. When you get into the boss room, you don't have to deal with Arc at all. Uh, solar, sorry. So that's my recommendations on the damages. So now that we're here, we're at this section. There's again, there's five snipers. The the other things you've really got to kind of look out for on arc, not so much on solar. Yes, they will do da a lot of damage if they snipe you, and because you're running momentum, if you're static and you've got the inertia, which is your health is not regenerating, it can be really really. Uh, tricky if the snipers start hitting you as you've seen there i mean i got hit with something because I, I i hadn't propped momentum i got i went red so you just have to be aware stay away from these cabal with the shotguns they can really they can really uh mess your day up with those shotguns because they're they're really long range shotguns they really do do a, a, a heap of damage from range so just don't encroach too much don't push them too much in the boss room, uh, as a, I used a rocket back there, and I know, uh, just to explain, I used the rocket on the incenders because I had a rocket on the floor. So I, I knew I was still going to have six. You need to make sure you've got six on your super for going into this, this boss room. So you can run past this section. On arc, I wouldn't suggest it. The best, play, the best subclass to run past all of this on is void, because nothing really does void. So you can get away with proc and momentum and uh, and just getting through here. So I I, kill, I used another rocket because, as you guys will know, or hopefully know, you are going to get another heavy ammo, uh, a chance for another heavy ammo brick from, from the orange bar, kind of mad butcher cabal. <laughs> I think he's called a gladiator. I, I, I didn't actually know what he was called. Up until recently, I just called him the butcher because he just looks like he's coming at you to butcher you up with two knives. But I think he's called a gladiator. So you're going to get one from him, but because heavyweight's on, you stand a chance to drop heavy from everywhere. So it's no big deal. So I, I'm going to take these ads out just to because it's arc. Uh, I'm not wanting to give any any kind of them any chance to put me down. Right outside the boss room, I would be extremely annoyed with that. As you can see, I mean, they're firing at me from all the way down there with that kind of shotgun, and it's really eating away at my health. And all it takes is for one of them to hit you with, you know, two, two of them to hit you with your shotgun, and then one of them to throw a grenade. And it's all she wrote. So now we're at the boss. The strategy for the first room is going to start off the same. We're going to clear out the cabal, then we're going to clear out clear out that sniper sorry then we're going to clear out these cabal then we're going to get on the the platform at the back left back right from where where we're looking now so the right hand side now you will notice something that trying to get off a lot you know we're trying to get off as many rockets as possible but i don't use dodge reload because of where i stand 
on on the platform, dodge reload would literally put me off the platform and I'd lose even more time. So I don't bother with dodge, I just get off three rockets. And that is the thing, try and get three rockets off on them on each room. As soon as you get down, you might take a bit of heat, proc your momentum. And what I do here, my momentum is procced, I throw an arc bolt grenade right over and try and take out a few ads. The ads you want to take out immediately in this room are the, the Cabal. So that's all the Cabal dead now. So now I can just, you know, I can I can go get, get the Harpies out of the way. Now, as you can see, I've got a heavy brick on the floor, so I know I've got another one, so I can actually use a rocket or two on the boss. Now, I, you've got to be really careful with this boss. If he can see you, he'll back away, right? Now, I don't know if you noticed there, but the minute he's seen me, he started to back away. It's when you hide, he will come after you. So what I'm doing now is just to see if I can get any more heavy, uh, is just killing the rest of the harpies before I take the minotaur down. If I can jump up on that platform, that is. It was really strange. I was jumping up, double jumping and pressing forward, and he just my, my hunter just was having none of it. So that's the harpies gone. The harpies that I need to take. Uh, I'm going to try and prop my momentum and then take this minotaur. I don't want to fire another rocket because I need, I need to have, you know, a certain amount of rockets for the boss. Now again, a little, a little uh, fact, a little piece of information here. I had no clue. This is my first run on the arc I had no clue how I was going to do this. You know, I, I was feeling my way through this and it worked first time. As soon as he drops down, rocket, dodge, reload, rocket. Now, he will do a, a lot of damage to you if you don't get out of there. So we've got two rockets, right? That's how much health he's got left. So now, we're going to have to... You'll see, you'll see, you do take quite a bit of damage in this room. So I, I don't encroach ads. I just try and take them all out. As you can see, it it doesn't make any sense at all, regardless of who says anything, it doesn't make any sense to push the Minotaur when you can take this much damage from Harpies. Okay? So just take out take out the Harpies. Now you'll see I always kind of start in this position, on this side, because it's a safe zone. Now, what I mean by safe zone is, you've got the lasers to the left, and the lasers in front of you. But this corner is free from any lasers. So you've got something that you can you can run to. These back two platforms as well are a good place to run and proc momentum on. As you can see, I'm getting hurt here. And I, I'll proc momentum from jumping. Even if I get hit while I'm jumping, momentum will proc. So once I clear the harpies, what I'm doing is... I, don't, I I don't really want to waste a, a rocket on him because, like I say, I didn't really know how much I was going to need. Another thing about these lasers, and I, if you really want to avoid lasers, look at the position on, on, on the wall, right? You can actually crouch and go underneath the lasers. I'm not sure if you can do it with all of them, but definitely. And again, it was a friend of mine. I watched him do it and was like, man, I'd never even thought of doing that. I always jumped them. So, a little fact there, you can crouch underneath the lasers. Even in this final room, if you if you are going to do the full boss fight, which we are not going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to jump up, rocket, dodge, reload. So, a good rocket, second good rocket, jump, super. And we're just going to melt them with the super. And because you've got Raid and Flux on, and because I've masterworked my armor, my armor now, because I've got four pieces masterworked, it's given me a 12% uh, a 12, 12 additional uh, armor stat. I'm 12% more difficult to kill whilst in my super. And there we go. 14 minutes, 15 seconds or something. Very good run for the for the, the hunter. I've seen, I've seen runs a lot slower than that this week on the hunter. So... There's the run, guys. 
I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope this helps some of you guys beat it and farm for that DFA on the Hunter. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I always appreciate it, and I will definitely see you in the next video.